Well, welcome back, everyone. We have the famous Dan Hodges from the Johnny Appleseed Park District Inn. We're going to be talking about how frogs make music. Welcome, Dan. Absolutely. You know what? I'm so glad to be here. Um, and listen, you know what frogs say. We all know what frogs say. And if, you, uh, if you've ever read a story to a child or a student, um, then you've used that typical frog sound, ribbit. Um, you know what? Frogs around here, folks, they don't say ribbit. Ribbit comes from the Pacific tree frog, uh, which was recorded outside of Hollywood studio. Every movie that ever created an, uh, an ambiance in the evening uh, by a lakeside uses that ribbit, ribbit sound. The frogs here, though, um, uh, we have a whole suite of them, and they all make different sounds. And actually, uh, we recorded, uh, we, uh, we posted a segment uh, that uh, we did on frogs just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, listen to that first so that you can learn about frogs. Go mm -hmm. ahead and find that online yeah. at Hometown Stations. It was ribbiting. <laughs> <laughs> it was a ribbiting show. That's good. But, you know, those frogs around here... We we have uh, seven or eight of them here in Allen County, uh, 15 in Ohio. It's really great, and they all make different sounds. And so what I thought we'd do is uh, we'll listen to some of these sounds uh, in order, too, uh, and uh, we'll try to create them with our little frog band here. Uh, so uh, starting with the ones that sing earliest in the spring, uh, one of our favorites, this is the Western Chorus Frog. Can you hear that? This is great. Um, and this frog uh, is super, super common. So right now, actually, if you go outside uh, near uh, a wetland somewhere, so you got to pick which one. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I won't make you do it. I was like, uh, oh, we got the comb. And listen, if you, take your, if you take your finger and you run it along the edge of that comb, it makes this brrrr sound. Um, and that really sounds like a chorus frog. So it, it, I know that it looks silly uh, here, watching Chris hold a comb on uh, TV here. Uh, but but this, is, uh, this is real, folks. You can do this at home. Uh, another one uh, that sings early in the season is called a wood frog. <laughs> Uh, we just use our we just use our voices to make this oh. one. This one, people think it. Yeah, I didn't tell Chris that we were doing that. Uh, people think this one uh, sounds like it's quacking in the woods. Quack, 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 quack. Go ahead, give it a try. I can't. Do yeah, that. that's great. Uh, good job. Uh, so the next frog, one of our favorites, uh, and actually we found this in a couple of places. Listen, isn't this pretty? It's called. The spring peeper. It just says peep. It sounds peep, like a peep. bird. Yeah, you say peep and I'll say peep. Ready? Peep, peep. There it is. That's it. And you can do this. You can do this with your students. You can do this with your kids. You can do it at a barbecue. It's good times. You um, <laughs> <laughs> you, okay. Uh, so uh, one of them that I particularly enjoy uh, is called the leopard frog. Here's the leopard frog. So there's a peeper in this recording as well. Uh, but if you listen, it goes like this. So the leopard frog sounds a little bit like you're rubbing a balloon. Kind of slowly oh, making that better. popcorn. Blah. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Some people think it sounds like it's snoring. If you have a 12th grader's humor or a 12-year-old's humor, you might think of other sounds. Um, but this leopard frog is going to sing along alongside of those. You'll find this whole chorus of frogs with the peepers and the chorus frogs and the leopard frogs all kind of singing together. Um, one of my uh, particular favorites a little later uh, in the spring, just a little bit later, is the American toad. Here's the American toad. It makes this trill. Oh. Heavens, it's going to make this trill. Oh, all right, hold on. It's going to make this trill for like 30 seconds, a long time. And so we do this. If you can roll your R's, you can do. And you can do that at home. Go ahead, give it a shot. Oh, yeah, I knew you could do it. <laughs> uh, another one, the gray tree frog. And this is one that sings a little bit later in the spring. Uh, and the gray tree frog will often sing throughout uh, most of the summer. It has kind of a throaty sound. Hold on, I should play it before I sing it. Um, here's the gray tree frog. Oh, yeah, kind of a uh, Give it a try. Yeah, good try, good try. Um, the, what, another one's called the cricket frog, and the cricket frog um, has this clicking, kind of clacking sound. Listen to this cricket frog. Um. <laughs> give it a shot. It's the rocks. You gotta go faster. I know. <laughs> We're running out of time. The last, uh, the last couple are the green frog, um, and the green frog uh, makes a really cool, interesting blunk sound. So we use a rubber band when we make this sound. Um, it's not super loud. 
when you do the rubber band. And the last one, the most familiar, is our bullfrog. That's going to sing all summer long. It sounds like a cow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. That's not how my bullfrog sounds. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. You can make these frog sounds at home. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> you, you nailed it. I, you know what? I've been doing this a long time, folks. Uh, and uh, all of these frogs uh, really make this whole musical chorus in the in wet areas uh, all spring and into the summer and you can start hearing them right now all right well dan thank you so much for coming on and letting us hear about all these different frogs and the music that they make and that we can enjoy throughout spring and summer so thank you so much for coming on gotta get outside folks all right well don't go away because we have more than we return